a significant transformation for Fort Lee. Uh, Fort Lee is, uh, with BRAC 2005, is doubling in size. To see everything that took place in that five year span, from what Fort Lee used to be to what Fort Lee is today, from more of a, of, of a, of a rural type environment to more of an urban city population type installation. Just amazing to see what happened in five years. It's been challenging, but it's been very, very exciting over the years. I think probably the neatest thing about all this is that I saw it from you know beginning to end. Who would ever think that you would take a 25-year master plan and move it into five years and have all this accomplished on the ground from the point of construction from the bottom up to include boots on the ground to the point where soldiers are training and impacting the, the, the warfighter. Great team effort here from the start to the finish. We've had so many people involved working this hard. As a whole, everybody involved in the BRAC program was all engaged to get to the goal, to get, you know, to, to construct these really nice state-of-the-art facilities, but to meet the timeline. Uh, we've transformed a, an older post and an older infrastructure with a small training mission to uh, a new post, a 21st century post, with a significantly larger training mission now. What we've done is drawn in the ordnance side, which is at, was at two locations, Redstone Arsenal, Alabama, and Aberdeen, Maryland, and we brought in the transportation school, which was at Fort Eustis, Virginia, only 70 miles away, but, but still in a different location. We consolidated that, so what we've done is grown Fort Lee to about 25% of the Army's training. It's an opportunity, like I said, to consolidate the education in one location so we can figure out what worked well at, at each area and, uh, and use that to improve education for all logistics branches. But not only did we move in on new facilities, but we also went back and reset the training, the, the platform, the whole, all the, the, the equipment that we have as far as new training devices and all the actual equipment that they train on. So. The soldiers are really getting improved training when they get here. You see the soldiers going through the training in the brand new facilities, in new barracks, in new headquarters buildings, and, uh, and know that we're doing a good thing for the nation by producing these trained and ready soldiers out to units. We have all of the latest technology, the rooms are much larger, um, and every, every classroom has got that same capability, so we're, we're only bound by limited by our imagination as to how we can go ahead and advance the training. We'll be able to do much more in terms of uh, training and uh, educating soldiers and officers and NCOs and warrant officers uh, at Fort Lee than we did in the past for uh, a lot less money. The best day of the entire project was the day two years ago when the first soldiers arrived from Aberdeen Proving Ground, watching 11 buses arrive, that's this summer it was two years, uh, watching those 11 buses pull up and seeing the expressions on those soldiers who had been living in barracks, really substandard barracks up at Aberdeen Proving Ground, and seeing the facilities that they were moving into was just really a great day. They're so happy with their new facilities, and that to me is the ultimate reward. We know we have used this BRAC investment wisely. We've got it right, we've made it better for the people who we're supporting, in this case the Ordnance Corps, whoever the trainers might be, and that to me is the true beauty and value of this BRAC investment. Pride. Um, I had 38 years working for the Army. I love being around soldiers. And um, to know that my career is coming to an end and I've done something good, to, that I was a part of that process, I just have a lot of pride. I'm very proud to have been part of history here at Fort Lee. This is really a Hua place now. That's an army word that can mean anything from I got it to wow, this is awesome. But it is awesome. The only way that we're going to get something like this done is through teamwork. And that to me is the one thing, the most powerful thing about this.